Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is just a Riz. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial on how to make uh, a trance base uh, in GMS and in Massive. So, yeah, here we go. We're gonna just, uh, here's just a little pattern I made. Okay, so for the GMS base, um, just start from scratch here. Get a new one. So, <clears throat> and in the description, there will be uh, a link to these presets if you don't want to watch the whole video. So, okay. All right, so just change these waveforms. You can basically change them to whatever you want. It's uh, just add some character to the sound and just instead of it being just a saw wave. Um, okay, put some voices. Stereo. Detune them. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we want to obviously make it, we got to move the cutoff here, so uh, up the amount, decrease the decay, put the cutoff down. So that's really pretty much it. Let's see what else I did. Oh, I added a third oscillator a little bit. Okay. So, and I guess I added a third oscillator. It's not really a big deal. Again, it just adds more character to the sound. Oh, I have to mix in the... And again, these I don't I didn't really play with them, but this one I think sounded pretty cool. So you can do that if you want. Uh, added some distortion. Fatten it up. And I mean, that's basically it. Here. Copy. Paste. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, the one in Massive. Basically, this the same thing, but you get a slightly different result because you have more choices with these oscillators here, so you get a different character. Okay. So poly saw one. I think I had it here. I think. Uh, use the DAF filter. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so fatten it up, increase the voices, put a little bit of detune. 
uh, some panning. Makes it really wide. Um, again, it's pretty pretty basic. Like we're almost there already. Uh, I think I put a little bit of distortion. Turn down. Cool. Uh, I think I put a little bit of tube distortion at the end and a dimension expander. Okay. So I think that's about it. Let's uh let's see how that one turned out. Cool. So they're slightly different, but uh you know, still sounds pretty good. have it um so yeah uh, i uh i'll try and post the massive preset but uh i don't know can't remember what version this is uh so if you have to have the same version for it to work uh but you know i just show you how to make it so how to make it yeah so shouldn't be too much of a problem and I'll post the MIDI pattern too. If you want to use it, go ahead. Just uh, you know, credit credit me. Just mention me somewhere in the description or something. So, okay, uh, that's about it. So I'll have more of these tutorials, ma making sounds and I don't know stuff like that in the future. So stay tuned. Okay, see ya.